Say you've just started learning how to work with wood and you happen to have a chip shop vacuum, some spare tubes and a plastic bucket. Oh yeah, and did I mention a lot of sawdust? What could you do with all that? Yes, a cyclone dust collector. I have seen similar designs made by others on YouTube and I wanted to find out whether it actually works or is it just a myth. So I decided to give it a try given that I already have most, if not all, of the components. So the basic idea seems to be that you add a bucket on the way to the main vacuum using gravity to collect heavier bits of dust or shavings and separate them from the vacuum's filter. Pretty smart and simple, isn't it? The components I'm using come from another scrap vacuum that I disassembled a few days before and they happen to match to each other almost perfectly. Now I need to connect this random bucket to the vacuum somehow. I'm going to use this rigid tube for two elements. Firstly, as a connector between the two other tubes and secondly, as the input tube into the bucket itself. Hence, I needed to cut it into two pieces. Once that was done, I checked if the parts are matching as I expected. The black vacuum tube and my freshly cut connector happened to be of nearly the same diameter, so I decided to try weaken the material and somehow force the tube onto the connector. It worked out ok, but it's a really tight fit. I may need to improve that bit later on. Now I need to make two holes in the bucket, input and output. There are many ways to do it, but I wanted to check how my router works with plastic. You could probably get away with a knife or scissors easily. It turned out to not be the best idea, as it left a lot of ugly tear out on the material, potentially due to the heat generated during the process. But the end result was roughly what I wanted in a reasonable amount of time. After a quick section test, I carried on adding the input hole using similar technique and marking the hole position with a sharpie.
with both of the holes done, I decided to give it another quick test by putting all components in place, though I was pretty sure lack of any kind of seals would cause a massive loss of suction. Yet it worked a little bit still, which at this point was really promising. Now, the sealing problem can be solved in many ways, I'm sure, but I decided I need another excuse to play around with my 3D printer. So I went ahead and designed some sort of a threaded inlet, which, with a little bit of turning force, would press the seal to the bucket's wall and hold the input tube in place at the same time. After about 3 hours of printing later, I was ready to test this concept. Because the inlet is threaded, it was really easy to mount it to the bucket's wall. The nut provides enough force to keep the two parts tightly connected to the bucket. Unfortunately, I overestimated the inlet diameter and had to add in some paper shim in order to provide a tight fit for the input tube. I also added some cable ties to enforce the connections between any of the hoses, which in addition should support the suction throughout the system. Next, I decided to slightly improve the inlet by fitting a round piece of rubber made of an old bicycle tube. It should make the connection sealed well enough.
I also decided to use the same technique to seal the bucket's lid, which required a little bit more work, but it did the trick. With the lid ready, I came across another problem. The seal was pointless if the lid wasn't fixed in place around the rim. Technically, when the vacuum's on, it's being pulled downward, but I wasn't convinced that's enough. Plus, I can easily imagine what's gonna happen one day when a container like this is going to fall over when full with some soil dust. So I did some more 3D printing and experimented with a custom-made G-clamp but I wasn't too successful this time. Then the solution came easier than expected. The bucket I purchased for this project turned out to have its hinges mounted to an external piece of plastic which I decided to drill through and attach the lid to it with tiny screws I made just for this purpose. It looked ok, so I decided to give it a proper test. Just for a minute, I could like just like the government. Create a problem and then try solving it heroically. Overall, I think I'm happy with the result. As you can see, the dust is getting separated into the bucket and very little dirt is going into the vacuum's chamber. This is exactly what I was expecting, so I can call it a day. Thanks for watching. Feel free to ask any questions. Any feedback will be appreciated. And as usual, like and subscribe for more projects like this.